YouTube, hello. Uh, uh welcome, welcome, welcome back to Snoop, yeah. You sound so defeated. <laughs> should I, should I not be? Oh, fuck. Welcome uh, back to Snoop welcome, Game. Welcome back to Snoop Game. The last time we did Snoop Game was I Don't Want to Forgive. You remember I Don't Want to Forgive? Yes, it was long. And I didn't get the ending I wanted. Uh, let's, let's, let's hear the wheel. Hold on. Wait a fucking second. No. Come fucking. <laughs> Jack's tired. Tired of the wheel. Alright. It's wheel time. It's wheel time, Kirby. You ready to spin that wheel? Yeah, I see it. Okay. I clicked OBS expecting the wheel to spin. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Do snoot. Do snoot. Great. Uh, that's a standalone game. Uh. I don't know how long do snoot is, but uh, <laughs> you stayed up for nothing. This is, this is gonna be fun because I know what stay snoot is, but I don't think Curb's gonna know. I don't know what a do snoot. Two snoots. Fully a do. Here you go. Here you go, Curb. We... Curb, do you know what Deus Ex is? Yeah, I know what okay. Deus Ex is. Okay. You ready to play Deus Ex, new game? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so it's June 23rd. June 23rd, year 201 million 2000 BC, Neo Volcano, York City. Weather conditions, eternal night. It's my first time living close to water. The idea of marine layer is new to me, but I do not understand morning mist. This is like, this is like it, except, except infinitely more shitty. The heavy fog doesn't make navigating to my new agency any difficult thanks to my augmented vision. Like it, like a eagle, I'm focused on my current task. My first time having to walk to agency too. My new apartment is in an awkward spot, opposite side of town, yet no agency or public bus to take me from there. It's my first day at a new agency. It's the second half of my third year of work. I had six months left at my old agency before retirement. I can't even imagine the kind of hell those six months would have been. But this? I should take my mind off of it. I whip out my PDA and consider the best way to make people upset on the internet. We shall beat. This isn't gonna be the entire game, but... Deuce X, right? I don't know. I bait it as... I bait it as underage civilian. The form topic goes 404 right as I'm ready to post my well thought out reply. Better hide my PDA before someone sees fit to take it from me. The only nano-augmented human around town, I think. It's the sounds that reach me first. The chatter of agents smelling about. Agent B, it's good to see you again. It was only a three-week field assignment. <laughs> I can make out the building now. The fog shrouding gives the agency building an ominous vibe to it. I look at the name written on the arc over the entrance. United Nations Anti-Terrorist Coalition. Yanatco. Perfect setting for an immersive sim. Or maybe a shitty RPG. 
Why the is attempt the Statue at, of Liberty just over there? Don't worry about it. The attempt at you bring myself just made me feel more alone. That's where level one is. I check if my PDA says I'm 30 minutes early. Wonderful. I move to the entrance only to see all of the steps occupied by agents. Their eyes turn to me, expressions of confusion and contempt contemplation. I can feel their judging stares. <laughs> I can feel their stares, their judging stares, the same that had haunted me for four months previous. I can already picture what they're thinking. That one's sleeping. That's Mimi. People like Mimi. Dude, check it out. Is that the nano augmented skinny? Or is this laser spear? Aren't they all like spear checkers or something? Betty eats his own kind. They probably see me as some kind of circus attraction and nothing more. Ha! I'm the freak show among the silly box mascot crowd. Taking acid is not nearly as colorful as going to Yanatko. I should write that down. Is this just like a Chunabayu mod where he's the only one who's seeing all this <laughs> and everyone else is just normal? Maybe. As I write, write that down on my PDA, I notice the surrounding agents stop at the looking at me, which is good. I can peep around the squad circles without a problem now. Not like I've, I'll ever be a part of one anyway. Hmm? Talking about wanting to stand out, I never thought I was possible. Never thought it was possible to look like you were from a black and white 20s cartoon. She does differ from the other Technicolor agents, though. In the worst way possible. Oh, yeah, she's staring at me. With that look. Fucking hell. Has she never seen a nano augmented human in her life? Fucking hate that look. Contempt. Judging. Everyone that has looked at me like that never proved to be anything more than an asshole. Like, I'm the anomaly here. She's just as dumb and insufferable as the rest of them. She's probably not better than me. Miss, my snoot is so big, I can plant a bomb on it. Go back to your squad mates. Huh. She did. I feel like I should say something. I noticed that all this time, my knees were weak and my arms were heavy. My cyber log, my cyber legs carry me over my the soggy grass. My cyber spaghetti. <laughs> my cyber spaghetti. <laughs> carry me over the soggy grass as I look for somewhere else to be. On the outside of the building is where I find Sanctuary. It's a small alcove of sorts. This, this is just the game. The pavement is cracked a bit and the shrubs surrounding it are overgrown. Even the bench, cracked pane on vaulted wood held between two concrete legs, matched the abandoned vibe of the place. It was perfect. I flop down on the wet bench and a violent crack makes makes from it makes my f almost perfect but good enough. I feel a tightness in my chest and my lungs fight to dry air in. Head in my hands I can fully understand what I've done now. Six months at a new agency. A year on my own in some rundown apartment in a town I know nothing about. All on my own. Three weeks. It took a day for me to want to change agencies and three weeks to make it happen. This is my life now for the next year. I think back to my old man's ultimatum. Once the contract is done, JC, either service or the scrapyard. I don't care which. Well, Deus Naomi. Yeah, I know. Um, was just like looking it up. I don't know if this is the entirety of it because this ah, person only me. has three parts. But it looks like if it is, hopefully only a half hour. Let's, let me just. I don't. What does co-op ending mean? Oh, I don't oh. know. <laughs> okay, that's E1. Uh, let's just fucking see how long this goes on for. Well, that's a six period, so... Uh, 
Is it just chapter one? I I that's what I'm feeling. I think it just does the chapter one. Okay. That's what I'm hoping. I look I look up, the bench broke down. I lay on the ground, ass hurt from hitting jagged concrete and splintered wood. Thank God for leather pants. Oh my goodness, are you okay? I groan. Never better. <laughs> Never better. I instinctively apply my deadpan facade in the presence of strangers to hide how uneasy I am today. It's even easier with my sunglasses on. Do you wear your sunglasses at night? Yeah, I guess I do, because it's eternally night. Oh, shit. A hand is held over my face. In my pain, addled confusion, I shake it. <laughs> right, uh... The hand tightens around my own and pulls roughly. The force is enough for my feet to get under me, stumbling back out up to stand before the pair of strangers. It also feels like enough force to pull my augmented arm out of its socket. Yeah, uh, sup? You're JC Denton, right? <laughs> Who are you guys? Why do you know my name? Are you NSF? We are welcoming committee. Okay then. Is this really necessary? Have a good night, Borger. Have a good night, Borger. The orange run, Naomi, hands me a brochure. You not Co and you. Static. You not Co and you are new beginning to world security. The title alone makes me think of several questions. The pink one, Naomi, looks at me expectantly. The brochure is full of the typical trivials, trivialities. <laughs> Triple doles. <laughs> Combat prep, anti-financial fraud trading, after-duty programs. None of it matters. Babe, I've got some things to take care of. Nazar looks back to the school entrance. I follow his eyes and see some people trying to lift a large crate up the stairs of the agency. The label on the crate on the crate read the Gep Gun. <laughs> she looks dejected. <laughs> of course. Nazar pulls her into a hug and nudges his nuzzle against hers. Is that how Dino agents kiss? He leaves, running quickly to assist the, the heavy sound equipment. Mm. I turn back to Naomi. She smiles again, though there is a plasticity to it. <laughs> Sounds good. Instead of using the main entrance, Naomi led me to a side entrance. Inside the HQ looked like your stereotypical agency hallway. Lockers and propaganda posters along the walls. Doors intersp interspersed equally to all the way down. More agents milling ab about before briefings. <laughs> I put the file folded from my leather jacket and hand it to her. She opens it delicately and scans the pages thoroughly. Oh, wonderful. Hey, I follow after. If, if yeah. I'm doing the same goddamn lines as the original, <laughs> I gotta have some fun with it. I follow after to a briefing room on the second floor. The seats were being filled with agents. I take one near the front, knowing I'll ha have to introduce myself. I'll probably be doing that for all my briefings. Does Fuck he have my life. like a sharper chin? I don't know, man. I don't think so. The loud alarm blares from a speaker on the wall. With it, everyone waits as the officer finally enters the room and shuts the door. Ohio goes, I must. Scudo? Scudo? Squado? Squado. Today you have a e new Scado Nimitsu Sunu Naktako. Okay, um. 
How? I think he was supposed to be like, good morning, squad. How long? <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me how long. Ohayou gozaimasu. I... I am. Yes. Okay, so there's spears. Okay, that's there's a reference. Okay. What? JC Kun, Parizu Kamu Apu Zen introduce you yourself. Naomi coughs and makes a subtle <clears throat> not up. Oh. I sit for my seat and face my new colleagues. Once again, all eyes on me as the tightness in my chest returns. I inhale deep, willing my erratic heart to slow. Hey. Again, those eyes, just like three weeks ago. Uh, my name is JC Denton. I, uh... Just like every day for the past four months, the JC stands for... I wanted to flee, hide in the shadows, anything to avoid those judging eyes. Me. Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> I knew someone would ask it. Fortunately, I know what to say. My vision is augmented. Mm. There's whispers now. The hushed tones silent snickers, blending with the ever-present stares. My augmented heart hammers at my chest, and I am sure that they can all can hear it. Good. It's working optimally. Uh, senku ju -jisiku. His words snapped behind my thoughts. Only Naomi was looking at me. The rest were preoccupied. Either talking about the winter break or catching up on sleep. They've been ignoring me the entire time. That was nothing like those Japanese cartoons. Mr. Suki continued on, drawing what little attention there was to himself. I sat down with my cyber legs I could stand for hours. <laughs> and I'd probably have to do this for each briefing today. Double fuck my life. Awkward introduction after awkward introduction. The colleagues that couldn't kill less keep me anxious the whole morning. My voice box isn't working today. <laughs> my voice is augmented. I know, Static, I know. And there's still the rest of the day to go. Eventually, lunch comes around. I don't have the lunch card yet, so I settle for an ice cold orange soda. There's no ambient <laughs> noise. <laughs> there is no music. In a pinch, this drink could save your life, and with its weight, it becomes a viable weapon. No time to waste after exiting the line to the vending machine, I scanned the lunchroom for an open seat. I wanted lemon lime. It gave me orange. <laughs> I thought I had found a decent spot in the corner where disaster struck. Ugh. Fucking that. Said disaster was a hand grabbing my shoulder and turning me about. about. He opened my open can of orange soda, threatened to spill across <laughs> the black leather jacket. Soda. Please, I had to do this for you. Good manners, you know. <laughs> I fought the momentum of the tray and told the hand that had spun me stabilized it for me. <laughs> Whoa there. Nearly dropped your drink, JC. What does the J stand for? It stands for J. Just Chris Denton. <laughs> I forget what I forget what JC's name is actually. It's Anon. Or do you mean in like the Deuce uh, game? In the game, yeah, in the game. I almost said cartoons. The Deuce cartoons. Uh. Yeah, that's all. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. I'm not going to tell you the spoilers. Because I actually kind of want to play. So, this is my... Sometime. This is my main thought of this. Why... Oh, I guess... Why doesn't everybody talk weird? Why is it just Anon talking weird? This is just like, like I said... This yeah, is like JC doesn't say sy symptoms. So he's the only person who's, like, different 
than everyone else. I'm JC. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. We're hoping it's just the first part. It's I'm it's, it's literally just up, like up to the fucking concert. Yours. That's it. I'm pretty sure that is because here is Spears's. And like, it would, it would be more enjoyable if everyone talked, like how quote unquote JC is talking. Okay. But it's just like it, he's the only person, and it, it's just the normal game. Okay, yeah, it literally. Okay, it's literally up until the concert. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looked like on the three videos. That's why I was like, hopefully these three videos are right because they're in three parts, but the three parts are 10 minutes each. <laughs> Gross. So I like hate 30 that. 30 minutes. I swear to yeah, all that it's is also, good adjust. It's also weird because when I looked at it, it said it was just uploaded today or at least the, the third part was. So it's like, oh, doesn't faded. have the value of um, being in that time where videos were just like 15 minutes long. Yeah, like, so back it's like, then, it's, it's like, fine, I get hour. it, but, like... Yeah, it's like, if it's only a half hour, just play the, play the game, upload the half hour of it. But, hey, I am not in control of his channel. I don't yeah, care what you, I mean, does. you do you. You know, all I gotta say is, the person who made this mod, you should've gave everyone weird lines. <laughs> oh, that's... All right, let's, let's... Oh, oh, it's Sapphire. It's... Okay. Sure. Anyway, yeah. Let's get through it. Um, want to sit with us? What? Want to sit with Naomi and me? Since you're new and all. He points to a table where the living pink sugar rush is waving. God damn it. I don't want to make a scene. Sure. Before I even sit down, the barge with questions begins. <laughs> I just nod along, staring and starting to not pay attention. You looking forward to the rest of the day? Not really. All these introductions, you know. I get you. Hard to talk to people you don't know, right? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Hell, last period I tripped on someone's multi-tool in front of everyone. Talk about first impressions. I don't think they'd care that much. Are you short on money on food money, man? I perk up at Nazar's interjection. Naomi looks disappointed for a second. Not really. ATMs oh, yeah, are everywhere, and so I know. Disappointed. <laughs> ATMs are everywhere, and I know how to use them. Naomi is starting to look disappointed, and I'm only picking up on Nazareth's interjections. <laughs> you need a bit more extra chow. There's going to be a few refreshments at my uh, at Fang's concert after duty today. Your what? Fang. Your brother or sibling? What? Bing's gonna have some extra ambrosia vials for the show. You could take some here home. I uh, don't know about concerts. Not really one for public events like that. All right, man. Just thought you could use a few opportunities to make friends. What was that? I'll pretend that wasn't mean. Meant to be malicious. I'll consider it. I'm proceeding to leave Naomi. I'm proceeding to leave Naomi out of the conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're totally fine. My stomach rolls at the V word. Maybe another time. Sorry. Some. So about that concert, Nazar. My stomach rolls at plants. <laughs> Dinner and a show. Sign me the fuck up. So what do they play? They play music. Music. Yes. What kind? Yeah, I, the kind of I music. Do How do you know same. that? Everyone enjoys the music. Yes. Do you have a single fact to back that up? Yes. They play several notes of music. Well, free vaccine is free vaccine. Sign me the fuck up. I look at my own soda, noticing something is wrong. Shut the fuck up, Naomi. <laughs> I'm muting you. Not that my pink is not that my only drink is not warm, and in the fact it's not orange flavor I've picked. It was lemon lime. Haha. -ha. They actually did do the reference. <laughs> okay, Kerb, you're good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Did I make a mistake? No, I don't make mistakes of that kind. Surely there's some kind of plot against me, but who? <laughs> JC Nazar? Oh no, it's JC Nazar, okay. But it's my, but it's my candy bar. I don't drink soy. Soy gives you man tits. It turns you into a sage. Wait, that's backwards. <laughs> it has a shutters and looks at a secure chocolate candy bar longingly. Sure thing, babe. He breaks the bar in two and hands me the larger half. Here, JC. Oh, never forget your brave sacrifice. With that, I'll I dig into our meal. After <laughs> duty, my briefings. <laughs> our meal. Our meal. My briefings after lunch were the same as before it. By now I had rehearsed introduction that only the officer cared about. I had to release some pressure. Luckily there was a restroom on my way to the assembly hall. Unlucky for me, I didn't notice the lady's restroom. Unlucky for me, I didn't notice it was the lady's restroom. Female dino agent saw me and announced that she will report it to HR. I stepped outside like nothing happened. Smooth. All that's left for today is the concert. And vac shoot. What's vac shoot? Vaccination shot. It's, oh. Okay. It's, it's Vac shoot for your snoot. I went outside the assembly hall entrance with Nazar, who is checking his PDA for measures. <laughs> for messages, even. <laughs> right. Fink says that the you, show is starting in a bit. That tape See? measure? No. <laughs> scroll, 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 scroll. I don't know. Nazar turns the screen to me. You want to do a Deus Fang? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fang, piss off. Fang, is the Ambrosia here? Fang, you can have a sip. <laughs> Fang, but after you get the fuck out for real. For real, for real. FWR like Franklin W. Roosevelt? Nah, fuck to an idiot. Fang's board's not mine. Is your uh, sibling always like this? Fangs. I wait for him to continue. Well, um, I mean, kinda. Glad I don't have that kind of problems with my brother Paul. Nazar glares at me. Fangs still family. Uh, sorry, I just saying is all. Nazar deflates. You're good, JC. And yeah, you're the family, but Fangs just so, so difficult. Yes, difficult. And I don't know why. Sounds rough. It is. Hmm. Finally, the doors open. I smell the sweet cure. Ambrosia. Sweet. Come on, JC. An older man ho holds open the door for everyone. <laughs> wait. His fragile hand stops me. Oh, yeah, yes. I'm guided to the side, away from the crowd that's filtering into the assembly hall. So, are you feeling good now? You're easy. Ah. Oh, 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 sweet. Okay. <laughs> the mounted pin on his chest reads Chief Ambassador of Yanatko. It must be Chief Manderly. It's nice. Looking a lot more professional than my previous HQ. He gives me a stiff smile, like some video game NPC from an early 3D era. You can thank your colleagues for that. He's old. What? Look at him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, did you see what happened to the maintenance man responsible for vending machines around lunchtime? We found a cottage in the broom closet. No, Some sir. Some fucking friendly... gator girl kicked his ass. <laughs> no, sir. Friendly fire? Not so friendly, I'm afraid. Of open investigation. Dismissed. God, they're just hitting all the fucking beats of Deus references. Yeah, sure. I, <laughs> you're like, yeah. <laughs> like, one day, one day, they I'll show you. I nod and go back to the door. Nazar is standing, hold it open for the last of the audience to go inside. Nazar leads me to the large crowded door, the press of assembly hall. The foyer has tables of bouts of Ambrosia stacked taller than me. You can take a couple containers after, and on, and on, and on. That should help you out. <laughs> Who the hell got all these anyway? Who I did. I take the fire down from oh, the shit. <laughs> oh shit, that's my code name. That's what JC I'm, stands for, Anon. The simulation. It's J for Anon and C <laughs> for Anon. <laughs> my name is Anon Anonymous. <laughs> take a fire down from the stack. Other agents rushed to them like it was the last moments of their life. I checked the logo on the box. And it gets so many larges from Majestic 12. That's a couple hundred thousand bucks, though. Nah, but a month's salary. A month? Excellent, that disaster of a jacket. 
So about the actual show, I'll check on them. Be right back. Left on my own, I stand mesmerized with the sheer volume of vaccine vials. How many lives we could save with these? Yet we're using it like cheap punch. I lean against the wall, observing the rest of the crowd. Another shit show. Just so stupid. They even bother. Bunch of loot. Everyone seems to share the same sentiment, so why the hell did they even show up for this? Nazar finally comes back and opens the door to the main hall. The crowd moves in, though I hang back so I can talk with Nazar. What's with them, Nazar? What do you mean? The crowd, they were talking mad shit. What? I don't have to go punch at the table. Nazar grabs at the- grasps at the air and sure what to think or do at the moment. I think he's angry. And then Whoa. he smacks the air. Yeah. I should have known. I don't. What are you talking about, man? I brought them here so Fang has an audience. Oh. Nazar's phone rings. He moves aside to answer it. Fit. The what voice on the other music? end is loud and shrill. Yeah, I... He holds the phone away from his ear to save his eardrum. Oh, okay, I... The call ends and Nazar sages. I've gotta leave. Seriously? Yeah, I got sage. Harsh. Yeah, I got a sage. Well, I <laughs> got a sage. They're actually a really nice person once you get to know them. Nazar, why didn't you just murder the English language in cold blood? Within them, I see the rest of the audience huddling in groups around tiny snack tables. Even went to the trouble of switching out the seats for them. Naomi said it, it'd help. With the huff, Nazar turns away, begrudgingly leaving the assembly hall. I enter the hall and take a seat in the back, away from the rest of the crowd. Lights dim and the curtains are drawn, are drawn open. On stage is a trio of people my age. I think Feng is the drummer. He doesn't look related to Nazar. Maybe it's a main front woman. That must be Nazar's sister or what? Then the whole conversation <laughs> over her sex, for fuck's sake. I'm just getting thrown around today. I don't know. She looks familiar. The band doesn't bother introducing themselves. Instead, the purple one begins plucking her bass. It all went trumbling down from there. What I thought was a guitar sounded horrifically wrong. Far too heavy. The lead guitarist was using a fucking bass. And then the vocals kicked in? It's horrific screeching. Com combining with the ML the shred on the base created in a cacophony equal to hundreds of cats ritualistically sacrificed. I faked the urge to cover my ears. I didn't know too much about music, but even I knew that you don't use two basses in one band unless you know exactly what you're doing. Oh no, oh god, what are they thinking? I look back to the crowd to gauge their interest. Surely I'm not alone in thinking this is an absent travesty. <laughs> this fucking th uh... <laughs> more words more words were said, but the laughter eclipsed them on the mute. What happened to me on stage? You feel a panic. The drummer was inching on stage, but the phone woman stood there. The yeah, good, good enough. <laughs> oh, fuck. His voice is even more stiff than, it, than this morning. Yes, sir. He looks at the crowd and then to me. Oh, you guys come tomorrow. I expected some professionalism from you, Den. You were supposed to... Of course, sir. I wasn't charging many agents, Den. Why would you be the best? His hands land on my shoulder. His grip was soft. By the way, Den, stay out of the ladies' room. Kind of activity embarrasses the agency more than it is you. Only I hand get squeezes. to go into the ladies' room. <laughs> hand squeezes before pushing me to the door. Want to see my office? No, here, only me. It's missed. <laughs> missed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the chief's voice shakes the room. Sorry, I was going suplex. <laughs> Back in the foyer, I see some vials of partially empty ambrosia left. I take what I can make and I take what I can and make an exit. The moon is starting to rise now as I make my way home. Stay out. Oh, that's yeah. you. Out room. <laughs> Stay out of ladies. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know how you know that simple mistake. Maybe I wasn't smooth enough. We're done. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, you already know that that's my favorite bit in the fucking dogs, dogs in love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're done. That's fucking day of snoot. All right, I'm stopping recording. No more. Yeah. Words.
YouTube, hello, welcome back to more Snoop Mods, uh, to the wheel. Oh, Kirby needs to see the wheel. Yeah, I don't have no wheel. Instead, I'm looking at a stupid hippo. <laughs> don't, don't make me change my profile picture of that fucking hippo. <laughs> it's time for a drama of worms. I think this is on Wani, so we can play this on Wani. Okay. Let me just check. Real quick. Uh, maybe not. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. A drama of worms. Oh, are you ready to do your Olivia voice? Uh, I guess. Okay. Am I ever ready to do Olivia voice? I don't know. You tell me. I just do it. Figure it out. Oh, so this one's a half hour too? Okay. What the hell is up with my like? Let's say if we do, you said that this one will be the last one. If we do this one, then I can have an hour of another spooky game. Good. That's pretty much how much, how long the other game I have planned is. So. Okay. Granted, as long as not complete idiots. All right. So, Static, what did you think of my nonsensical Naomi voice? <laughs> exactly. I think uh, we can call it there. Good night, everybody. There we go. All right, Curb, who do you I do want to use? What, what does this mean? The means the, the background. Uh, this mod is adapted uh, from a bonus chapter of Receiver K's I Want to Kiss That Snoot link in the readme. Okay. Oh, so we're dating, Olivia. So, uh, what's this band called again? Olivia looked back at me as I pushed her towards the pizza dive. Worm drama. Worm? Yeah, yeah, you know, like two V's in the name. That's still pronounced with a W, you philistine. Then it's worm drama, but spelled by someone with dyslexia. Olivia shrugs with a smile. Liz is the one who spotted the flyers and thought it was something light like. Just as she finishes saying that, we reach Dynamo's entrance and spy one of said posters. Oh, goal achieved. It's a fucking nightmare of terribly compressed stock images and clip art with the worst color choices you can imagine. Two deep fried T-Rexes with dyke haircuts are separated by a lightning bolt to one of the guitars. I would love Dude. if, like, they come on stage and Anon's like, None of these are Dyke Tyrannosauruses! <laughs> <laughs> also, that is a W. That's not two Vs. That's specifically used as a W. Dear God, they even misspelled the known band name, Worm Drama. Which, even taken charitably, does not cover why there's a Comic Sans t-shirt with the other spelling, Worm Drama, at the, begin at the bottom of the page. Olivia and I stand there, appreciating the piece of sil for a silent beat. Then, Olivia turns back to me with a deadpan expression. 
What if you chose Fang UI? Then it would just use. It, that, that, that was Wanna UI. <laughs> Do you want? Do what are you? Oh, uh, uh, well, what if you chose Snoot UI? This is this is Snoot UI. Uh, yeah, then I'm confused. It don't matter. <laughs> it mattered to me. It's ugly <laughs> on my eyes. This oh. looks so much better. Uh, then Livingston's back. Okay. Do I need to kick Liz's ass for assuming that would be my style? That remains to be seen. I'm gonna err on the side of caution. I assume Liz has no idea about this kind of music and thought this was simply the style. Well, why it was... isn't Anna on here? Like, I'm just you, wondering. You'll, you'll see. You'll, you'll okay. see. Okay. It's probably well meant. <sighs> Olivia throws back her head with a prolonged groan. Do we have to stay? I mean, no, but we're already here, right? We can always heckle for them if they go. We can always heckle them if they blow. What are they gonna do? Beat up a cripple? I I do like their dynamic though, so I'm I'm happy it's Anon. Now when they see your squishy, skinny ass next to mine. I can act stupid or something. Oh, we're calling it acting, are we? Yes, I will say dyke and cripple, but the R word? No, that's a bridge too far. <laughs> this arbitrary line in the sand right here? Yeah. Chill the fuck up. Talking a lot of shit for someone whose chair I have control of right now. We both share a laugh at the back and forth as I prop the door open and gesture for her to enter. The place I already, the place is already pretty packed, easily having several dozen people milling about before go time. All the tables were moved to make way for a massive crowd space in front of a makeshift live music stage on one end of the restaurant. I jump about a foot back when the kitchen door suddenly slams open near me. The same brown, mustachioed T-Rex in a golfer's cap steps out, calling back into the kitchen. You the better get it done, Jerry, because if I come back and it isn't, I'll kick your foot. He cuts his explicitive short, realizing that he's practically on top of us. Ayo, sorry about that, folks. The help, you know. <laughs> he takes a look at us before clapping his tiny hands together. Says, I figured you two would have won one for a <laughs> eh? I look to Olivia, who simply wavers her flattened hand. I mean, it isn't necessary. Not a problem. Come with good old Uncle Mo. Gotta make sure you get a good view of my little Lucy and her friends. If anyone complains, let me know. I know a guy who breaks kneecaps for cheap. Good to know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's good to know someone who can break kneecaps for cheap. Yeah, we always need a kneecapper. Yeah. The hulking Saurian plods through the... Plods? Is that? Okay. Plods through the crowd, bowling over any unfortunates that don't feel the ground quaking as he approaches. I look at Olivia again, my expression along sorry, my expression alone ask if she's okay with it. She's made strides in getting over the concept of special treatment and other accommodations, but I wouldn't blame her if she refuses this time. But instead of a sulking gator, I see as she grins back at me before making an over exaggerated Italian hand gesture and mouths the word gabagool. That force gabagool. That voices a laugh out of me, and I push her through Moe's wake of destruction closer to the stage. Inka would be like, you can't appropriate the fucking costume. <laughs> Maybe we'll see what Inko thinks. It's not long until showtime now, but the only person on stage seems to be some strung out pink raptor filling with all the equipment. I gulp at the sight of all of those power, co power cords heading towards the same back room. I really fucking hope this guy knows what he's doing, else Moses is going to go up in flames as soon as the sh they start, if we're lucky. Olivia sets about Olivia sets about sketching on her phone screen while I while we wait. Wow, okay. It's actually nauseatingly impressive, the type of thing she can draw with just her finger on that thing. She really is a master in her own right. I find myself scanning the crowd in a calm before the storm. 
There's a lot of others our age here, probably students of Volcano High. It's a weird thought just how close I was being one of their peers this year instead of Olivia's. My hand absent-mindedly absent finds itself on her shoulder and I can feel her take it in her hands and plant a chaste kiss onto it. It's scary just how well she can read me by now, honestly. I overhear an interesting conversation to my right, turning to see a green stegosaur and orange aqu aquilops. Mm. You keep your winds of fate. I only need El Dios, heretical. The aquilops quick draws a rosary and starts making a sign of the cross. Noti... Noti Piracola... Ah, fuck. Noti Piracola, Stella. I won't give up your... I won't give up on your eternal soul, amiga. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The Sego starts looking around, eventually turning to face me. You, hey, do you want your fortune told? She chokes <laughs> on her words with an eep when she gets a good look at me. I have been known to have that effect on women, after all. I have an aura. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? She seems kind of familiar, but I only know one green sorried woman. Speaking of, Olivia pokes her head out from behind me. What's up, Anon? Who's the weeb? <laughs> yeah, you want to talk? <laughs> Taking another fan. look at the... <laughs> Taking another look at the Stella. I see that she actually has an Opie shirt on, lining up with her space buns. Why does God see fit to send green anime-loving woman my way? I mean, that's... <laughs> that's only two, but it's kind of wild that it happened twice. I, uh, don't know. I turn back to her. Do I know you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She, she quickly averts her eyes, her tail coiling nervously around her leg. No, no, no. I don't think so. Did you... I scratch my head and then it hits me. Did you go to Volcadria Con 2019? Hmm. Yeah. That nervous look is wiped up from her face, replaced momentarily by contemplation before she bounces up and down, waving her hands. Oh, yes, you were Saitama. Ah, uh, so that place is it. She was the Sailor Moon I knocked out of the contest. Small Lord she and all that. She was the Sailor Moon I knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, that must be it. She nods fervently as I say that. She's keen to get back to her first question. Would you like, but would you like your tarot read? Red, read, read, <laughs> read. <laughs> Oof, guys, <laughs> shouldn't you be on stage? Like, no, man. The drums are just like still going. <laughs> she looks at Olivia. Oh, both of you. Olivia shrugs. Sure, why not? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, you got death. <laughs> and you also got death. Oh my god. She, just, she turns the cards over. They're all death. <laughs> <laughs> Rosa, what did you do? <laughs> I'll teach you to use that devil worship. <laughs> Stella begins wildly shuffling her deck, cutting it and inverting the face cards several times. I would love if, like, she doesn't shuffle normally. She does, like, magician shuffles. Fucking just, like, <laughs> card tricks. Boop, 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 boop. Is this your card? Oh, shit, it's <laughs> death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, these are all death. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> forgot again. <laughs> the orange aquilops shakes her head and says a prayer under her breath. No doubt calling on saintly intercession. To intercession. Whatever. <laughs> for three wayward souls. Catholics. Olivia takes her card first, then I take mine. The devil. Oh, fuck. What? What card is it? Stella slides up to me into my personal space to get a good look. Oh, which, <laughs> which position did you pull it in? It was upside down, I guess. Oh, shit! She bounces up and down again. That's a really good thing, then. The reverse devil signifies freedom, release, and restoring control. You must be taking back your life recently. I hand her back the card. 
I guess? Thanks for the reading, Stella, right? Stella nods. I'm sorry, what are your names? Oh, I'm Anon, and this is... Olivia interjects, slicing between Stella and I with her extended card. Olivia, hey, do my... <laughs> oh, right. Stella takes the card in hand and studies it for a moment. Olivia grabs for my arm and pulls me closer, suddenly much more clingy than a moment ago. Oh, you got an upright the world. It signifies fulfillment, harmony, and completion. Both of you must have just overcome some pretty big challenges. I smirk at the name you of the card and look Gary. at... <laughs> I smirk at the name of the card and look at Olivia, saying with a deeper inflection, Dio. Oh my god, you know Jojo's Bizarre Adventure? Boy. Oh, season one. Boy, do I. <laughs> Stella squeals, causing several <laughs> other crowd members to wince along with us. What's your favorite part? Who's your favorite Jojo? Do you think Araki really forgot when he... No, Araki never forgets. He forgot twice. And in the span of 30 years of then writing, that's pretty impressive. Fucking lied to me just now. You just said he never forgets. Okay. I sorry, Curb. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Olivia <gasps> pulls me closer to her as Stella goes on and on, and I offer answers with varying levels of input. This girl is nice, but damn is she a walking stereotype. After a couple minutes of badgering us, the Aqu the Aqualops places a hand on the shell to Stella Tholdor. Oi! Oi, Stella! You need a breath too you need to breathe too when you talk. The Steger nods, suddenly gasping for air, giving us a reprieve. And Oda! I'm Rosa, and you two f and are you two from around here? We go to St. Ammons. Rosa hums, impressed. Oh, artistes then! Cray genial! Cray genial! Well, what did still you say about my genitals? Just shut up, you! <laughs> you want to know something, you little green abomination? Heaven doesn't ha heaven isn't handicap accessible. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, heaven is a place on earth. <laughs> and it's right here in Dino Mode. <laughs> well, still and I go to Volcano High, same as the band here tonight. That reminds me, what kind of genre do they play? All of them. <laughs> yeah, they play music. Music? Music. Obligatory scoff occurred. <laughs> I think back to the ugly posters and realize that they can play ska for all that for all I know. Hmm. Who is his face contorts? The type with guitars? So you don't know. She nods solemnly. Let's see. Well, this will be interesting to say the least. The four of us make small talk for a bit longer after that. Apparently the two girls are both in the gardening club and friends of the band. Finally, it's current time and the band members make their way up to the stage. They certainly are a group, a yellow hooded wearing purple midget triceratops on bass, that high as a kite raptor on drums and a monochromatic goth tarot on lead and vocals. The head of the band screeches into the microphone to start off. What is up, little Trudon? We're Verm Drama, and we're here to blow your dicks off! With such an intro, I brace myself for the worst. Anyways, Luckily, I'm... here's Wonderwall! <laughs> ba -da -da. <laughs> Today is gonna be the day! <laughs> Luckily, I'm pleasantly surprised. The melodies are euph euphonic, and even in spite of their schizophrenic lyric style, some of the songs are real earworms. My favorite has got to be I Swear Mussolini Ate My Baby, Officer, though the lyrical bridge is pretty weak. Actually, a lot of these songs revolve around fan fasc Fascist. Yeah. fascistic fascistic leaders or cult members. I feel like my Scandinavian woodcrafting form would have some mixed views on their discography, but I'm, but I'm liking it well enough. 
the floor is turned on turned into a mosh pit at this point, one that I luckily find myself on the fringes of, avoiding the thrashing so readily dealt out by others. As I say, Stella's just getting yep. the shit kicked out of her. <laughs> at some point, I definitely see Stella go under with a scream. Rosa rises above the turret at like the Doom Slayer, a pink Twinkie micro wrapped. Yes. Oh, no. oh wait a oh. minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Rose rises above the torrent like the Doom Slayer, a pink Twinkie micro after raised over her head as an improvised weapon. <laughs> I take it back, this concert fucking rocks. But all things must come to an end and the band closes out on a high note. The hum of their speakers fade out into dead silence. At first it sounds like no one will applaud despite roaring aloud during their songs. Then I hear a lone person clap from the side of the room, which quickly snowballs under a round of applause that shakes the room as much as the music had. I look over and find Olivia beaming so hard our eyes are squeezed closed, hands raised as high as she can so she can clap out louder. The band, for their part, go from shock to ecstasy at the approval. Each of them basks in their fame, pers perspiring like they'd all just ran a marathon. The lead guitarist and vocalist furiously strumming her fretboard before yelling. Thank you, little Trudon. We are worm drama. Oh, I thought they were kissing for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Olivia. Kiss the smaller... I almost said Inko. Kiss the smaller <laughs> Don. <laughs> band, the band members are all disembark the stage as Olivia downs her entire canteen before rubbing her throat, croaking. Well, I didn't expect that from some local garage band. Yeah, no, I was pleasantly surprised that it was any good at all. I look around at the quickly dispersing crowd. You, uh, you want to head home now? Yeah, sure. Just give me a minute. I gotta go to the bathroom. She wheels herself to the restroom and I lean against the wall, retrieving my phone for a quick shit post or two. Nothing is coming to mind, though, so I end up mindlessly doom scrolling as I wait for Olivia. I sense someone walk up to me, but ignore them up until they speak. Hey, Ingo man, where's Fang? The voice is lackadaisical and carries with it the faint smell of burnt plastic. Looking up, I see that raptor drummer and answer. Uh, I think you have me confused with someone else, man. Bro, I'm faded right now, but I'm not that faded. I'm about to assure him that he is that faded when another person walks up to us. Another bald human in some high-end blue jacket and shades. Hey, Reed. I was looking for... Whoa. We both look at each other up and down. He isn't exactly my clone. My shoulders are way broader and I mog his jawline. But we could be confused for brothers off of looks alone. The druggy diner looks back and forth between us several times before speaking. Hey, ink goes. Can whichever one of you is real get me the Narcan out of my bag? I think I may have hydrated a bit too much. The other human places a hand onto his shoulder, assuring the raptor. Yep, that's his shoulder. Yep. Yeah. You're fine, Reed, but you should probably go easy on that stuff. He then looks at me. Um, hi, I'm Inko. Anon. This is weird. Yeah, telling me. Reed, where the hell did you put the... The purple triceratops from earlier comes striding up, freezing in her tracks before glaring at Inko and I. She exhales, rubbing the bridge of her snoot. You've got to be fucking kidding me. There were two of them now. You see them too? Oh, hey Trish. Yeah, uh, this is Anon. He... I don't give a fuck about you and your skinny butt, buddy. You have to pack up and get out of here, so get moving. Trish, that... Inko... Inko could never handle Trish. Yeah, no. That's <laughs> like... why he's just like, yes, my queen. I was gonna say, Inko would buckle on day two. <laughs> like... Would it fucking kill you to say please? What the fuck did you just say to me, you... I'm losing the Trish's voice, great. Hey, hey Trish. Nico throws himself in between us to defuse the conflict. 
Man, that was a pretty amazing concert. I didn't get a chance to tell you yet, but we almost sold out all of our merch stock. All that profit. Which will go to you three. Yeah, sure. It was okay, but the next one will be even better. We'll get a better venue than this place. Yeah, we'll get a better venue than this place. Reed, come with me. She grab she grabs Reed's waist wrist. Fuck. Dragging the existential spiraling raptor with her into the back where all the cords lead. A beat of silence passes before I look at Inko. The fuck is that trigger's problem? <laughs> he starts yicking. He immediately spazzes out you wide eyes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He immediately spazzes out, wide eyes, flapping mouth, flailing arms, the whole nine yards. Y you can't just... don't... why? Just don't let Trish hear you say that. He hit him with a shit-eating a shit grin. I'm not afraid of some purple three-horned midget. I haven't seen what she can do and on. Just... please, please don't call her that again. Inko shakes his head, then he takes a look at the stage. Say, I understand if you don't want to, but would you mind helping me? The two of us could probably get the teardown done pretty fast and mean a lot to the band. I scan the room, still seeing no sign of Olivia, and shrug. Yeah, why not? Dude, thanks, you're a lifesaver. Inko's sickeningly genuine in intonation is just shy of making me wretch. But that's just the years of irony poisoning having taken their toll on me. He's just a normie, is all. Inka is sure to fill the silence as we work. So, lived in Volcaldera Bluffs long? Nah, moved here at the start of the school year. Oh, not that different for me then. Though I moved here during winter break. I was actually surprised to go to St. I was actually supposed to go to St. Hammond's originally. I paused as I was yanking plugs out of the back of one of the speakers. Yep, my parents run an arc an aqua fucking an architecture firm. So we moved when the job does. Last project I we run an acupuncture firm, I don't fucking know. The last project ran along than expected, so I missed basically the first half of the school year. At that time by the time the seats were filled and there was no way I'd catch up on the specialty courses, so I got slotted into Volcano High instead. Huh. Why'd your parents pick something like St. Hammond? I'd actually suggested it. They've got a pretty famous photography program that was always the, the fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> you They've got a pretty yeah. They got a pretty famous photography program that I was hoping to get into. It's been a passion of mine for a while now. And this sucks a suck. Inko shakes his head judgmentally. But ultimately, I think it was a good thing. You're not upset about missing your dream shot or whatever shit they spew about it? I grunt slightly, placing an amp on its case. Well, I was for a while, but... No. Not anymore. I've got good friends. Great friends, really. Weed and Trish are great, and Fang is something special altogether. Fang's definitely made my time at Volcano High worth it alone. So, what's her deal? The lead singer. Uh, uh... He squirms a bit. It's actually they. What? Their deal. Fang's not binary. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, pull it back and on. That's my base and red pilled coding talking. I actually don't give a shit. Who cares if she dresses like a girl, sounds like a girl, etc. Just sh sure, whatever. Not about to start a fight over someone I don't know. Okay, their deal. Well, Fang's really talented. I mean, you probably figured that out from the concert, of course. But they're also a really strong person. Not physically. Well, they are, they, but... Okay. They, they just snap in half. Yeah. <laughs> they... had a rough concert earlier this year that almost broke the band completely. He seems to remember we something unpleasant. almost had a tragedy at the school. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm Inko. I averted it. <laughs> All I I'm had to do Eco. was push. I just ate the bullets. <laughs> I just pushed Trish down the stairs and everything worked out. Before shaking his head and continuing. 
Luckily, with a few nu a few nudges here and there, they made some changes and decided to give it another shot. Though Feng's always been dealing with their own problems aside from the band. Problems, huh? Let me guess. Daddy issues? Well, I mean... He sighs. Maybe? Really, we both have the same problem. So it's been nice to be there for each other. That sounds familiar. What's the problem? Well, we both... He carefully chooses his words with a furred brow. We don't know who we are. Come again? Yeah, I know. It sounds weird. Pinko hoists another speaker. It's just that we aren't sure what makes us... us. Things got their music, and I guess I've got my photography, but that's just a passion or interest. Outside of that, neither of us really know who we are or how to make it in the world. It's... kind of scary. I can see the very mention of it crashing his face. Cre fuck! Fuck! <laughs> I can see the very mention of it creasing his face with Rory, so I decided to change the subject. So, uh, are you like their manager or something? <laughs> no, that's Trish. Okay, graphic designer then? Those posters yours? He hesitates a moment before answering. That was also Trish. Pray so hard not to be racist, but then Trig's Trig and give me a reason to dislike them. Alright, so what the fuck do you do? Boop the snoots. Yeah, I boop snoots. That's what I do. That's my job. I guess you could say I'm the mole support? And I bankrolled the merch this time around. He hefts one of the final speakers back into a large rolling case. It's okay, though. I don't need to be part of the band. I'm just happy to help them succeed. His eyes glaze over before he gets this contented smile on his face. I want to see Feng smile. I stop working and stand straight to stare at him. I narrow my eyes, causing, them, causing him to wriggle. What, did I say something weird? Yeah, you did. Uh. He clamps a hand over his mouth, genuinely afraid he said something offensive. I walk up close to him and he leans back as I bring a sm my smiling face close. You like goth tarot, don't you, Inko? <gasps> what does that mean? He pushes back lightly. I, I mean, Fang is a good friend. So, yeah, I like them. And I guess they're a goth tarot, so... I throw an arm around his shoulder and get close enough that he can hear me. I heard it in your voice, man. You're into her... them... whatever. I... He clams up, not even able to refuse the claim. Then he takes a deep breath before retorting. Look, we're just friends is all, and I want to see them happy. Does it have to mean I like them? No, no it doesn't. I sigh. Let me, sh let me share some advice I once heard from a very aggravated raptor. Whether you call it love at first sight or whatever, when it's there, you know it. When it's there, it becomes obvious to everyone else, too. Everyone. I said everyone. I really, like, rolled over that V in everyone. Inko gulps. Is that true? Man, I don't fucking know. But I heard it in your voice just now, so I'm starting to think Malcolm isn't 99% bullshit. I give him a considerate smile. Look, I know it's scary as fuck. I do. But it's better sooner rather than later. No, I don't think so. They have enough problems already. I don't need to add even more on. Hey. I grow serious, pressing a finger to his chest. No man's an island. A woman, or whatever the fuck you call Fang. Problems are easier when shared. Trust me. Inko closes his eyes and breathes deeply before answering. Thanks. I'll think about it. I leaned to the side, finally spying Olivia on her way back. And once you know it, she's talking and laughing with Fang of all people. I release Inko and make my way towards the two dino girls with him in tow, catching the tail end of the conversation. No way that that riff wasn't a reference to Generator Head's Cord Walker solo. Fang hums, impressed. Hmm, you really know your stuff, girly. 
When her eyes land on Inko, her beak splits in a wild grin, and she sprints towards him. Inko! Hey, Philip! He's immediately swept up into a whirlwind of feathers as she rocks the both of them back and forth, laughing all the while. I step beside Olivia, smiling and nodding my head at the two as I take her hand in mine. She shares the same look, nodding in full understanding. Good to know it wasn't just my imagination. It actually feels a little... dirty, I guess? Watching what should be the private moment unfold as she yells about how well it went before their embrace becomes far more tender. Inko, oh my god, oh my god, we did it, we did it! They actually love worm drama! See? Told you it'd be it'd go great. Oh, shut up. Like, you'd ever actually call us bad. And Trish would wipe the floor with you. <laughs> she probably would, yeah. But I told you you could do it. Lucky guess. Feng buries her snoot into his shoulder. No, it's... You're an incredibly talented person, like I said. And if you don't see it that way... Even if you don't see it that way, Feng... This seems like a moment best left to them alone. I'm about to pull Olivia away to give them some, their, to give them their space when that purple bitch comes back. Fang. Hi, I'm the purple bitch. Hi, I'm purple bitch. Uh, you can call me a trigger. Um, I'm here to get you two the fuck away from me. <laughs> Don't touch my. <laughs> so, uh, Curb, you know I've been watching Metal Apocalypse, right? It, yeah. And one of my favorite lines, I've. Before watching it recently, one of my favorite lines in season one was um, at the very end, the manager guy is up against the like, big assassin dude, and he just goes, that's my bread and butter you're fucking with. Yeah, that's been yeah. my favorite well, my fucking line. Fucking and it comes back up in season two's finale, and I'm like, yes, good. <laughs> <laughs> so like, it's become one of my favorite lines to just say, like, it's my bread and butter you're fucking with. I love metal uh, so good. So fucking good. I actually got to the episode uh, with all talking about daddy, like each character has to talk about their daddy issues. Yeah. And that's when, and that's when, um, Nathan. Nathan, thank you. Nathan's like, I love my dad. He's fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck are you guys talking about? I love my dad. And then it goes into a montage with him yeah. and his dad just fucking hanging out. And I was, when I first saw that, I was like, oh, I fucking love this. Like, <laughs> you don't always need fucking daddy issues. Yeah. Fuck yeah, Nathan. <laughs> Bang. Hello, Bang. She carelessly rouses Fang for the moment with a harsh hand on her shoulder. Both Fang and Inko share a volley of glances at the other as they both visibly flush in embarrassment. Trish looks absolutely furious at the display. Mm. The pink raptor is in tow, looking, <laughs> looking far more alert than before. You good now, man? His words are far more... Uh, what? Succinct? Succinct? Succinct. Um, okay. His words are far more succinct and without slurring now. Yeah, I'm cool. Took the Narcan to be saved, but, huh? You are real. I sure hope so. I nod, hey, looking uh, back at. Inko and on you. you. You know what a polycule is? <laughs> <laughs> we should all have one. Mead, I'm not joining your orgy. You Come weren't on. invited. Oh, good. I didn't want to be. Uh, <laughs> just run the right crying. Uh, no one wants me in the orgy. <laughs> the fuck is her problem? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Trig's got a trick. I nod, I nod, <clears throat> looking back at the tense standstill the rest of the band find themselves in. Well, congrats on the show, everyone. I draw attention to myself to give Inko and Fang a reprieve. I've been there, man. What the hell are you still doing here? I'm about to go full hog hard RT word on her when Inko luckily cuts me off. Hey, Trish, I helped, he helped me pack up the band equipment. Can you be a little nicer? Alright. Alright, alright, fine. 
fleeting look of shame crosses her face before she speaks through gritted teeth. Thank you for the help. You too, Inko. For everything. That's a fucking start. Oh, so Trish, Olivia here was just saying about how she'd be interested in doing commission work for worm drama. You know, for t-shirts and posters and shit. Dang! I'm Trish! <laughs> <laughs> Trish whines, throwing her hands out. <gasps> we don't need any help with that. I've already got us covered. Couldn't you, I don't know, use the extra free time to focus on the band? It's okay if the answer is no, but you haven't even seen my work. So your hands still work, at least. My responses are not I'm going. <laughs> Aww. Fuck you, you purple cunt. Fuck you, skinny. What is she, your girlfriend or something? Yes, Damn she straight. fucking is. <laughs> I love how just yelling and everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Reach just like, damn. Just fucking, just fucking take a metal trash can, just slam it over Trisha's head and kick her down the street. <laughs> like, Yeah. I, I feel Fuck Olivia squeeze. Yeah. Fuck Snoot Trish. I feel Olivia squeeze my hand, only then realizing she's at some point taken mine and hers and gently wrapped her tail around my ankle. It only makes more resolute in defending her. Fang crosses her arms, frowning at her friend. Trish, Olivia and Anon, right, are just trying to help. Again, Trish's indignation melts into a wince before she mumbles to no one in particular. Sorry. She crosses her arms and refuses to make eye contact with anyone now. Another uncomfortable silence afflicts the band. Jeez, these people are fucked up, huh? To break the tension, Olivia has already pulled out her phone and begins showing off her more stylized portfolio. Skulls and other motifs that make for good band artwork. Each member inspects the pieces with enraptured attention. Oh, good stuff, man. That's some real talent. Fang nudges the pouting Triceratops. See, Trish? What's the harm in getting a new design or two? Trish merely grunts, clearly still willing to die on the hill that is her dog shit art if it means keeping it in house. Hey, Trish. Inko speaks up. Why don't Olivia and I hash things out then? Since I'd be the one paying for it. She scowls at that, but can clearly read her bandmates well enough to. Uh, capitulate. Capitulate. Wow. capitulate. I mean, don't go forgetting who the actual manager of Warm Drama is. You haven't. You have my permission this one time, skip. Inko. And I still get veto rights if I think it sucks. Oh, I see. Mr. Shades gets some rash. Gets some rational sensitivity. <laughs> some rational. <laughs> you won't. I was talking about the deal he makes. Your work is really good. Trisha averts her eyes, still sore over her own insensitive oh, comment. Oh, I get it. You're a tsundere. <laughs> You're a big tsundere. <laughs> Inko pulls out his phone. <laughs> like Olivia pokes Trish, like ran them over a circle, so her figure like digs in right between her boobs. <laughs> Just pierces her heart. <laughs> Just straight through, like, yeah. <laughs> so, Olivia, can I get your number? I'm dumping Fang for you. <laughs> this is how it was meant to be. <laughs> he juts a thumb toward me. Talk to my agent here. Olivia, I don't even remotely know what your art is worth. What are you on about? And I do. I'll trust whatever you two come to since you seem like such homies a second ago. I look at Inko and we share a shrug before exchanging numbers. Olivia does end up getting Fing's number with how many music recommendations they apparently have for one another. It's actually nice to see Olivia having a girlfriend. This is cool and all, but they don't exactly have many overlapping interests. Not long after that, Olivia and I bid the band farewell, promising we'll be at their next show.
Eiko and I text back and forth in the coming days. The guy is kind of milk toast in his interests outside of photography, but he's dedicated to his new task. After a lot of texting and checking with Olivia, we came to a pretty good price from three designs for an outright commission and the royalties for each shirt sold. Pennies on the dollar, of course, but it's something. Honestly, he's not so bad a guy. Not sure if old me would have made friends with him, but that's a badge of honor these days. We even... something... Uh, we even figure out after a bit of talking that holy shit, what the fuck did I just do? Um, uh, I don't know. It's black, but I mean, I can see the text box. Okay, it's, it's fine. Um, even figure out after a bit of talking that we're distant cousins. Small world keeps getting smaller. And honestly, that isn't so bad if this is the type of stuff it leads to. Now I've just got to badger him into confessing his love to that goth tarot shit person. Goth tarot person. Oh. Adapted from F4L's fanfic Christmas Visit. Nice. I like Anon and Olivia. Yeah, that was fun. That's a fun dynamic. Yeah. That's definitely a fic I would probably actually look into reading. That's a fun that's a fun dynamic, honestly. Another one in the bag. Yeah, well if you like what we do around here, why not subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, all that fun good stuff. Follow us on the Twitter or you can join the Discord. That'll be it for today and we'll see you all next time. Yeah.